Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, taking a first look at Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, so this game actually came out like last year, 2021, and I wasn't super interested because this is a fighting game and that's not a genre that particularly excites me. Uh, but recently something happened with this particular fighting game that got me really excited and really, really got me to want to check this out. Uh, and her name's Bridget. <laughs> so we're gonna dive in and we're gonna have a little look at the game, and especially at Bridget, and we're gonna see just what this is all about. Uh, so, yeah, as I mentioned, it is a fighting game, and that's not a genre I'm super good with. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing, uh, so we'll see how we do. I'm using the Switch Pro Controller here. I haven't configured it to do anything special, this is just out of the box. So we'll see how well this goes. It does seem to support it natively, I didn't need to mess around or anything. Uh... Yeah, tutorial, that sounds fantastic. Let's go. <laughs> okay, am I playing as Kai or Sol? Or... Like, am I player one? I'm not quite sure how this works. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts, heaven or hell. Heading out on the road again, Soul? Yeah, bounty hunter, remember? Soul versus Kai. Yeah, I think I'm playing as Soul. What's your point? It was all over the papers. People see you as a hero now. Oh, hell. Don't tell me you want to teach me to act like right. Well, yes. By order of the new Conclave. It's just a formality. It won't take long. Still a pain. Duel 1. Let's rock. You just need a record of me teaching you. Now, come at me. This will be over once you reduce my health to zero. Okay, I can move with the D-pad or with the analog stick. It's going to make a big difference which I use. Uh, yeah, I can move out of the direction. I have to double tap to run. I can do a little jump back as well if I want. Uh... I assume I can combo all the buttons together to do special moves, but I don't know what they are. Okay, yeah, so dash by double tapping, and you can jump by pushing up on the D-pad. I'm fairly familiar with the general controls of these kind of games. I played like a... I think we had a demo of Tekken 2 on the PS1. <laughs> Beyond that, I haven't really played any of this stuff. That was stupid. So wins. Is that killed Kai? Oh, he's fine. Okay. <laughs> I'll start attacking now. Try to stay on the offensive. Uh, five Okay, so it is telling me the right buttons to use on the Switch controller, which is very helpful. I believe you can change it so that instead of showing, like, the buttons on your controller, it shows the standard buttons, like a punch and kick and stuff like that. But I don't know what those buttons are, so... Can I can guard with pressing back? Just block with back. It doesn't really look like a block though. Oh, maybe it's a block. But you may notice I'm not great at this kind of game. We also notice the graphics are gorgeous. Like I said, it was just a formality. I believe this is how all the characters look. They're like animated like you're essentially watching a shonen anime. Extremely pretty. 
Uh, base, how you do grabs, or...? Again, I only really know Smash Bros. <laughs> These other kinds of fighting games are very different. Ow. I'm smashing all the buttons, really. <laughs> Needs to work though. That should do it. Remember, you can brush up on what you learned today at the dojo. There are other practical techniques to be learned there too. You trying to tell me I need to hit the dojo? Like I said, this is a formality. You can do whatever you want. I like how Kai's cape is swooshing all the time. It's great. That energy <laughs> gear maker. Yeah. Do keep in touch while yeah, I do believe gears are a very significant part of the game's setting, but I don't know what they are yet. <laughs> Some of the moves you've learned here cannot be done with certain characters. Those characters from other path moves are unique to them. There are many unique characters in the field field for gear. Uh, yeah, I can do mission mode. A wide range of things, from basic fighting game knowledge to Guilty Gear's unique system. Okay, so this game is clearly designed so you can play it if you don't know about fighting games. <laughs> That's quite helpful. Uh, okay, so we do missions. Okay. Basic tanks of fighting games, controls, and strategies, unique guilty gear techniques, level up to an expert, high level techniques, increase your win, win rate. Yeah, let's go to the castle. I'm not sure if I always have to play as Soldier in the tutorial, because I really do want to play as Bridget, but it's possible to just be one script for this one guy, because the game's voice active. I'm just trying to open the distance menu and then dash forward to chase them down. Press the dash, there's a dash button. Restrictive action. Jump, attack. Oh. Only damaging combos in the close range. Try line close attack with the Y button. Okay. I can see other characters in these little thumbnails, so I'm guessing I get to play as them as I progress. Oh, I'm facing Milia? I don't really know these characters. Like, I, I know about Bridget and Testament, because of course I do, and that's about it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Avoid, uh, avoid Malia's B tandem top doing a double jump. If you fail, you get hit or block her attack. So I need to jump at a different different timing. I don't know what the timing is, because <laughs> I don't know what her attack is. Okay, I got it once. <laughs> Let's give another shot. Three out of five. <laughs> some characters cannot double jump, or some will from a triple jump. Or something. I jump, different character, same character. Yeah, I'm playing a soul again. 
Is Soul one of the major characters? Like, their name's literally Bad Guy. <laughs> I'm getting the impression this game is quite silly. <laughs> Down up quickly. Okay, so you sort of duck and then jump. I'm definitely finding it's easier to play with the D-pad than with the analog stick. And the instructions seem to be expecting that, because you meant to press like double tap and you meant to go down up and stuff like that. I believe fighting games in the arcades use like uh, almost like an Atari style joystick where it is literally digital even though it looks like it might have analog input. So it's like clicky. Close, wide, and far. Away. Oh, oh, character select. Hello. Yep, let's go. <laughs> Richard doesn't appear to have a last name, which is interesting. I'm not sure how that arises from a backstory, but. Yeah, and now I'm beating up Kai again. I can't see myself because I'm covered by these instructions. When I say close, they mean very close. Like, I was expecting it to kick in a bit a bit sooner. Yeah. Interesting. Unique moves? I'm guessing this also can someone else. Yeah, I gotta be Sol again, so I can say Sol for unique move. Direction ejection when the attack button land is three different unique moves. Okay, so you hold the direction, then you press the button. That's not too tricky. It's pretty much how B button moves work in Smash. I think I did a couple of these during the first little tutorial for accident because I was trying to get closer. Oh, I got an achievement, sweet. I'm not quite sure why, but there's knowledge is power. I guess I got enough points out of doing these little missions. This is why crouch and why be. Okay. Why crouching wide? Freaking Gatling combinations press the next button right when the current attack lands. Trying to match the button in succession, but extend press them in rhythm. That's what I was going for. Okay, I need to be a bit quicker. Up, up, up. Yeah, I can do that. You can into various Gatling combinations from first floor. The available Gatling combination varies in the current attack you'll perform. Comes with Gatling combination. Okay. 
any crouching block. Crouching block with down diagonal backwards for standing block. And you just hold it to do it. Okay, I get it. So you want standing block when they're in the air and crouching block when they're on the ground. Definitely probably easier to do it with the D-pad again, even though I'm doing a diagonal now. My instinct, if they're jumping up, is to cower if I'm pulling down. But that's not the right. That's not the right thing. You have to stand in block. <laughs> I'm terrible at this one. <laughs> Okay, that was better. Okay, okay, I did it. it it's not intuitive. Uh, this is not something I have muscle memory for because I just don't play these kinds of games that much, but... I'm really glad this tutorial mission mode thing is here. It's helping a lot. <laughs> yep, Bridget time. Let's go. The music's pretty good, by the way. <laughs> okay, so RB is how you... It's just called R on this controller, but I know which button that is, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so direction plus RB when close to the opponent. Okay. Not too tricky. Oops. I say as I mess it up. <laughs> ground throw can be avoided by jumping or moving away. Whiffing ground throw for counter attack. Dust attack. Heal damage against an opponent that's crouch blocking. Tap RB. I can do that. Also, yes, Bridget fights with a yo-yo. <laughs> She's pretty great. Um. Oh, I got confused and pressed X by mistake. <laughs> okay, so that breaks a crouch block. I assume it's not a good idea if, in other cases. Direction of the command input changes. Oh, I assume if I jump over the character. Oh, I'm playing as a Chip Zanoof now. I don't know who that is. I don't know the characters in this game. <laughs> Confirm the command for alpha blade horizontal changes when you're facing left or right. Alpha blade. I think that's called quarter circle when you move when you put the controls in like that. I've heard that term used in reference to fighting games, but I'm not quite sure if that's what it refers to. <laughs> I am an absolute neophyte in this genre. You can see that this particular fighting game 
looks extremely cool and is extremely pretty. And starts <laughs> the command list is the command list when your phone is on your right. Keep that in mind when you're memorizing your command. Okay. So, so you have to flip it in your head when you're facing the other way. Blue Cypher? <sighs> Rigid versus Axel Low. RB plus any attack button when blocking or receiving damage. Oh, I think I saw this during the first little tutorial. I don't think that uses up the blue bar at the, that you have up there, which fills up as you deal combos or something, I think. That one's pretty easy. Engine gauge, huh? Oh, I'm Soul again. <laughs> I guess this eagle is just there whenever it's loading new characters or something. <laughs> okay, so I want to charge up my tension gauge just by attacking. I don't know what a tension gauge is, so I'm not quite sure what it is I'm trying to fill up. I was at the bottom there. I just noticed it. My goodness. Back to the main menu, and what's we got here? Okay, so we're going through the mission mode. I assume training is like the one in Smash. You can basically just do whatever you want. Set up your opponents however you like, and they'll just behave the way you want to practice. Uh, arcade mode, I believe, is like where where every character's story is. When you play as the characters, they, that's how they interact. And it, it's it, Smash Bros has what's called classic mode, and I think it's basically that. And I think that's why it's called classic mode, because that's what most fighters used to do in the classic days. <laughs> Worse. Worse. Just set up a match and have a little looky loo here. Okay, one. To enter the mayhem. Uh, let's see, yeah. Regular number of rounds, regular time limit. That'll do. There's some interesting characters in this game. Oh, very cool. Oh, cute. May has a big hat. <laughs> and there's Testament. It's so cool. Obviously. <laughs> uh, oh, and I can pick my opponent too. Uh, someone I haven't seen yet. So with me. 
Okay, so that owl clearly... not owl. Eagle. That eagle clearly seems to be a relevant part of the setting, maybe? I don't know. But, like, it's always shown on the loading screens. I think I can get, like, a, a move list if I pause once we start the fight. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on them... Oh, I wasn't expecting it to do this. Heaven or hell. You don't look so tough. Whoever you are, welcome to the show. Bridget, Bridget. versus me. Duel one. Let's rock. Is that an anchor? He's holding an anchor. Okay, I can pause, but I gotta hold down the button for a little bit. Let's see, command list. Oh, I see. Moves for while attacking. Leaps up while attacking. Oh my goodness. Stimulus. Oh, that's just general attacks that aren't like special to character. Okay. Damn, these are some good attacks. Okay, that's how you get the teddy. I think to do overdrives, you need to have your bar filled. They're like final attack kind of things. I think. The button settings. Yeah, you can mess with all this if you want. I'm probably good with the defaults. Oh god, I'm getting my- I'm getting my butt kicked. Oh no! <laughs> I'm bad at these games. Seem to be getting better. <laughs>
Dude, a warrior that's no longer a rookie. Huh. If you go to story, it just like you can watch. Okay, I think this this just shows you like cutscenes of the whole story. That's the way it sounded. I was trying to go back out because that's not very interesting to watch and to watch me react to, but character correlation diagram? What? <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh, oh my god. Oh, this looks so complicated. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. This is so in depth. <laughs> okay, so you get to watch a bunch of 20 minute anime episodes that tell you the story of this game, apparently. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh,. It wasn't what I was expecting. Digital figure. Are figures the same thing as like the trophies in all the Smash Bros? Yeah, let's take some scenery. Uh, yeah, let's go to the Oval Office and fill it with cool people. <laughs> yeah, th th these are like trophies. Okay, uh, place figure. Do I have any figures? Oh, I see. All the characters. Sorry, no, not all the characters. Just I think these are just the ones that are in the base game, maybe? No, Testament was DLC, so... I might need to do something to unlock some of the other characters who aren't showing up here. I don't know. I like Mei with an Inca. It might be like I play their story mode and that unlocks more options, because you can see I don't have any expressions to pick from. Museum. Hmm. Avatar parts or gallery content. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think that's how it works. I wouldn't have a lot of this stuff unlocked at the start of the game. <laughs> Let's do another round. Uh you dare to enter the mayhem. Normal CPU is fine. Let's try Let's try playing someone else. Let's play Testament. And let's face off against A bit of hair assassin? Oh my god. <laughs> Your hair is <laughs> Oh I love that. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's do this. Alright, so we're playing as Testament now. Testament uses they, them, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I heard that um Testament is voiced the same has the same English voice actor as Bridget, but I'm not sure. I did hear that. I'm I'm not sure if it's been confirmed yet. Mankind knew that they cannot It seems to play that thing at the start of every battle, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a bit more range because I'm holding a scythe. Actually, that should be less range because I had a yo-yo before. But I seem to be having less trouble hitting stuff that's a little far away, so... Oh, 
not sure if my uh, Raven does anything. I know a thing or two about the sorcery. They call like little 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 demon friends. <laughs> Dual three. Let's rock. Eyes on them. This one doesn't really sound that much like Bridget, but like maybe the voice actor is just really good, you know? <laughs> and these very different sounding voices. Oh, whoa, that was cool. I'd say it's time for a tea break. Milk and sugar for you. Tess has <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at the defense part, blocking and stuff. Uh, I might do one more round. I don't want to get too deep into this game just because of the style of game it is. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to play too much in the first thoughts, but... I like it. Uh, I'm just not very good at it. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's take Giovanna out. Giovanna? Alright. Um, player 2 can be... Yeah, there you go. Mankind knew that they cannot change society, so instead of reflecting on themselves, <laughs> they blamed the beasts. It does this every time you start a battle? <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, you summon your guitar from the netherverse. Of course you do. Oh, I like your voice. Like how there's lots of text, like in the in the UI when it's saying when the battle's about to start, it's talking about your inputs will breathe life into the character or something, and that just sounds really cool. I'm getting my butt kicked though. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm worse at playing this character or if, like, she's actually a worse character. Probably the latter. Not the latter. Probably the former. Probably the one where I'm bad at the game, because I, I know I'm bad at the game. Yeah. That was gonna happen. I'm not sure how to use my tension gauge. Oh, 
possible this character is tougher than the previous ones I was fighting as well. I, I know that that's a thing in some of these kinds of games. Which, I mean, I know it's a thing in Puyo Puyo. <laughs> I don't seem to be doing any damage with my attacks. So, like, maybe they're blocking really well? Ow. Well, that's my first loss. <laughs> At least you made it to the bridge. Eno wins. Yeah, I got my butt kicked there. <laughs> okay, I might do one more just because I want to go to have a chance to win. Uh, I haven't played as May yet, so I'll give her a shot. And okay, Bam Lethal Valentine. Quite a name. I love that it does this every time, that's so funny. You can skip it, but it's funny, so I'm not... Oh, my backpack has a face, I didn't know that. <laughs> what makes you unique? You'd better not treat me like a child! May versus Ramlethal. The giant hat and the, like, maritime theme and the fact that she just said that, I'm getting a lot of Tressa vibes from May, which is nice. Oh god. I think it must be really fucking heavy. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can block with like a shoulder button or something. Blocking with back feels weird to me. Oh, cute! She's got a little pirate band. 
my defense was a bit better that time. Hey. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it there. So, um, this is Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, I'm really bad at this kind of game. <laughs> it's, uh, my camera just stopped working. Uh, that's great. There we go, fixed it. Okay, so, yeah, I'm really, really terrible at this kind of game, but I can see why it would be really fun. And with the mission mode in there that, like, really, really gradually, painstakingly teaches you how to play, I think I can get good at this game. Or at least better. Or probably not like pro level or anything. <laughs> but I, I can get better and I want to. Because this game is gorgeous and I can see how it would be a lot of fun if you didn't suck at it quite as much as I do. And I love Bridget so much, and I'm so proud of her. <laughs> and yeah, like, I don't know how to play these kinds of fighters. I know it's a very popular genre, but the most I really know is Smash Bros. I'm not very good at Smash Bros. So the fact that there is like straight up a mode in here that gradually teaches you how to play fighting games and how to play Guilty Gear like separately and shows you every little mechanic and make sure you know how to do them with interactive tutorials and stuff that's really really good because i'm going to be using that <laughs> i haven't tried to play online at all i don't know how well that'll work because i'm here in australia like i might have bad ping or whatever but playing offline seems to work really nicely and it looks like you can play two player as well so i could just you know pick up another controller and we could fight together that might be fun Or even, I also haven't actually looked at the arcade mode. I have a feeling I'm too bad at the game to really get far in that. Uh, because, like, in arcade you face, you know, a pre-scripted series of, of opponents and then they talk to each other and that's how the story unfolds and you have to keep winning, <laughs> basically. And I don't do that. I I keep getting messed up quite a lot. So I would need probably to be a bit better at the game before trying to play the arcade mode. <laughs> I'm guessing survival, yeah, endless way of CPU opponents until you lose. I would lose quite quickly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this game is really, really cool. Um, and, you know, I probably wouldn't have gone for it if it weren't for the whole Bridget situation. But I'm glad I did. And I'm also just really happy for her. And I love her. And she's just an incredible person. And I am obviously going to main her when I start developing any amount of skill at this game whatsoever because I love her so much. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed me sucking at fighting games that aren't called Smash Bros, but that's about all I got. So thank you for watching. <laughs> uh, bye. <laughs>